Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about population density and how to calculate it. So what is population density? It's simply just how many people live within a given city, county, state, district, however your uh, place of residence calculates area, right? So what is our equation? It's population density is equal to the number of people that live in the area divided by the area of the land. So this we need to remember area of land is going to be a circle, so that is pi r squared. So you can think about like the center point and if we draw a radius out and then we just extended that radius in a circular motion, that would encapsulate the entire area of our land. And that's a circle, so we know area is pi r squared. Okay? All right, so let's look at our first example here. About 124,000 people live within a two mile radius of a city's high school. Find the population density. So we'll say PD for population density is equal to 124,000 people divided by pi and we're in a two mile radius, so that is two squared. So this is 124,000 divided by four pi. Now, if you're doing this in a calculator, be careful. Um, if you do 124,000 divided by four pi like this, then it's gonna actually do 124,000 divided by four and then multiply that by pi, which is not what we want. So if you do in your calculator, do 124,000 divided by, and then put four pi in parentheses. Okay, now that'll give you your correct answer. So our population density is equal to 9,867, and it's a decimal, so we'll say about, right? About 9,867,000, uh, and we'll say people per square mile. Okay, so that's how we calculate population density. Now let's look at example two, and now we have the 10 mile radius we know the population density is 869 people. How many people live in the city? So now we can say 869 is equal to the number of people, we'll just say x. And our area will now be pi times 10 squared. So this is 869 is equal to x over 100 pi. So now to solve this, we want to multiply both sides by 100 pi. So 100 pi here and 100 pi right there. So in our calculator, we're gonna do 869 times 100 pi, and that's gonna give us approximately 273,004 people, okay? And our label there is just people because it says how many people live in the city. So that'd be 273,004 people. All right, in our last example, about 79,000 people live near live in a circular region with a population density of about 513 people per square mile. Find the radius of the region, okay? So we can say population density, so that's 513, is equal to the number of people, 79,000, and that's divided by pi r squared, okay? So now, essentially what we're gonna do is solve for r now. So we could multiply both sides by pi r squared. Okay, so now that gets rid of that. So now we're gonna have 513 times pi r squared is equal to 79,000, okay? So now we can divide here by 513 pi, 513 pi. That's gonna get rid of the 513 and the pi, so we're just left with r squared on the left side. And once again, in your calculator, 79,000 divided by, and here put 513 pi in parentheses, okay? So now once we do this, this is gonna give us approximately 49. It's like 49.018. So we're just gonna leave it at 49 because now we know if we take the square root here, we're gonna get a radius of approximately seven, and we're talking about miles, okay? So that is our formula for population density and how we can use it to find population density, the number of people that live in a region, or the radius of the region.